Hey guys, welcome back to another management vlog. You might think the setting looks a little bit different back here behind me. It's because we are in town to start off this vlog. I've talked to the deer and they've told me they are thirsty. We are in drought like conditions here. So we're at the Pea Ridge kind of water department or whatever it's called. And we are going to be filling up this big holding tank and then putting these two I guess you call them cattle troughs, water troughs, out on the property in two different areas. We're going to show you guys exactly how we're going to save our deer and get them something to drink. Okay. So we made it to the hunting grounds, just pulled in. Now I'm gonna be putting my 100 gallon tank right here. And the reason I am doing that, if you notice, I am up and down my driveway here, right in the center. We've got a nice little hill coming down, nice little hill coming down here. And as you can tell, water congregates and it washes down this little slope. But the one thing we're definitely gonna make sure of today is each place that we put these right now, it's as really accessible with the truck because it's very easy to fill up this tank. And if it's along a road area or anywhere I can just fill up with the truck, it's very easy to back the truck up to it. We'll hook the pipe up and then we'll let it flow out. Probably this weekend, once I get some help, you can see how it, uh, we've got a nice little decline here. I wanna dig out the ditch here in front and then I'm going to put this tank down where it'll be almost level. The top lip will be level with this dirt and that will allow that water to come in. And on the back side, I'm going to leave it high like this. That way the deer can easily walk up and when the water's lower, yeah. they can put their head all the way down in it and they can get a nice drink. This way it's going to fill up. So the thing is I don't want to fill it, I don't want to dig a hole and put it all the way to ground level all the way around because for a deer, if you look inside this tank, there's no way for it to reach and drink the bottom of this if it's coming standing right here. They just can't bend yeah, like can't that very that. well. So if I have it where they can come up and not have to bend down from this side, be able to drink it, they can drink it from the uh, high side. The high side if it's it's if it's nice and full. So. touches make sure you put that in the water all those little squirrels and everything that fall in coons that'll get waterlogged that'll sink allows them a way to crawl out where they aren't going to drown themselves in there do that in every single water hole and uh, you'll protect the lives of the little innocent So we've made it to our second location. As you can tell, we're already filling up. This one's only 50 gallon. Uh, there is another water source that's not, but you know, less than 100 yards from here. 
But that water source is one of their dry ponds that we have on this property. That's one of the things that you need to hold deer on your property is you need food, water, and shelter. I have all three things, but the thing in limited supply here is water. And uh, when you get in these drought-like conditions, some of my water sources dry up. And as you guys know, if you've been watching my vlogs, here recently I've strategically done a select cut on my property. That's paying for the ponds. They are scheduled to be made, but we're about two weeks out from the ponds getting made. And so, till then, until they're holding water, we've got to have water out here. So I'm putting this 50 gallon here to kind of substitute when that pond is dried up because it wasn't holding any water. I scraped it around a while back with the tractor, got it where it's holding about eight inches of water in it and um, so there was water in there but it's starting to dry up now so this will kind of substitute when that one's running out and we're putting it out in this field because we know the deer are here every single day it's only going to get sun directly on this during the evening but during the afternoon and during the hot time of the day we're going to have this little red oak right here shading it so this isn't going to get hot during the day so we're filling this up and then we've got a nice little surprise little candy treat for the deer that will show you and once this is all filled up we're going to set it up as well Well, that's going to wrap up setting up these water holes. We just finished putting out the last spy point 11D. We put them in both locations. We've got a nice water hole here on the back of the property, and we even got a nice little sweet treat to entice them to come in here and let them know it's all okay with the redneck T post feeder. Got some corn in there, and I think this is going to pay off. This is going to help hold the deer on my property because what's going to happen if I don't have this water here, I'm not going to have those three main things that you need to have to hold deer on your property, and that's food, water, and shelter. And rather than them changing their patterns and going to another piece of property or moving patterns and going somewhere else on my property, I want to keep them right here exactly where they are and not over on my neighbors. So setting up these water holes I think is going to pay off big time this season. So we've set up the spy points and we can set them on video mode. So we should get some really cool video of the deer coming in and starting to use this stuff. It should take them no time at all because I know they're as thirsty as I am right now. I'm going to get back to the house and get something nice and cool to drink. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Can't even talk. I'm getting so hot. Um, but if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're a new subscriber, make sure to subscribe. And guys, until next time, have a better than average day. Won't you tickle